Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we're gonna be shooting Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip, their 95 grain load and 243 Winchester. And here's your box for that Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip, 95 grain, 243 load, rapid controlled expansion polymer tip, that's what it says, deer and antelope. So there's sort of your game that it is intended for. Let's go ahead and flip it around to the back. Here is your promo information on the silver tip line. Feel free to stop, pause, and read that if you would like. Coming on down, here's some more info on the bullet. Again, read that if you would like to. Coming on down to the ballistics chart, our muzzle velocity is stated at 3,100 feet per second. There is not a barrel length listed on the box. I assume that's probably a 24 inch barrel. We will be shooting this stuff out of a 20 inch barreled compact rifle which I think is appropriate for the 243 Winchester. A lot of youth and compact 243s out there. So we will see how close we get to that. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. There is your standard Winchester styrofoam ammo holder. Let's pull one out. Now we do have nickel plated brass. That's a nice touch. There is your ballistic silver tip bullet, big old plastic tip on there. Let's go shoot this stuff and see how it does. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. And my test rifle today is my Winchester Model 70 Featherweight Compact, chambered in 243 Winchester, of course. It's got a 20 inch barrel. Up top, I've got a Leopold FX2 six power scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. I've got 243 stamped right in it. Check out my website, masonleather.com. It will be linked in the description and the pinned comment. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming over the other side, I've got my white tail deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that 95 grain Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip load out of the 243. Minimum 2930, max 2955, average 2942. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip 95 grain from the 243. We captured four bullets actually. One of them we're not counting because it did table skate. But as far as penetration goes, I'll go around to the other side and show you in a second. But there is one at 17 and a half inches. You just can't see it right here. And then we have two right here, one there and one there at about, we're going to give them both. Uh, we're going to give 121 inches and 121 and a half inches respectively and it looks like they mushroomed pretty decently that's pretty decent penetration for a ballistic tip bullet in 243 and here i'll come over to the other side to show you the other two bullets as well this is the one that we're going to be counting as the third bullet or first bullet however you want to count it this is the one that table skated so it actually did penetrate a little bit deeper but it did ride down and ride the top of the plywood and so we're not going to be counting that one as far as um, further metrics are concerned and let's go ahead and take a look at the wound cavities pretty nasty it is a ballistic silver tip there is a lot of little lead and copper fragments all in there opens up very rapidly almost immediately you know by about half an inch big nasty wound channel tapers off by about the six to six and a half inch mark delivers a punch up front and surprisingly penetrates decently deep for what they are so let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look all right y'all we've dug the bullets out of the block let's talk about this winchester ballistic silver tip 95 grain load out of the 243 let's jump right into it weight retention we saw 53 56 and 64 grains respectively for an average of 58 grains retained weight that 61% weight retention. And considering this is a ballistic tip bullet, it's meant to at least partially fragment. I think that's pretty darn good. A good chunk of the bullet did break up. 
did create some, you know, shrapnel effect, but the majority of it did keep penetrating on through. I can't complain about that. Did what it's supposed to do. Expansion wise, we saw 0 0.45, 0 0.57, and 0.69 inches for an average of 0.57 inches expanded diameter. And look at the photo of these bullets. They're a little bit variable. I've definitely seen ammo perform more consistently than this in terms of expansion. But again, these are ballistic tip bullets. They're gonna be a little bit wild on their expansion. The one on the left is a little more uniform and concentric. The other other two are a little more jagged and wacky. I'm not disappointed at all. It's a ballistic tip bullet. I think it did pretty good. And at the end of the day, it works out to 2.3x expansion. Can't complain. Velocity wise, our high was 29.55. Our low was 29.31 for an average of 29.43 versus the factory spec of 3,100 feet per second. So we came in 157 feet per second slow on average out of my 20 inch barrel. No doubt if you got a 24 inch barrel, you're gonna see more velocity. I'm not sure you're gonna chew up all that 157 feet per second though. And this is in the range of a lot of other 243 ammo I have tested out of my same rifle. A lot of them come in about 150 to 200 feet per second slower than factory spec. Not unexpected considering the slightly shorter barrel, but I do think it's appropriate. There's a lot of youth rifles out there in 243, and I like to test it that way. Take that for what it's worth, make of it what you will. And our estimated velocity down there at 100 yards and impact is about 2,649 feet per second. Penetration wise, pretty darn good penetration, better than I expected actually. 17 and a half, 21 and 21 and a half inches for an average of about 20 inches of penetration, which is right there at the 20 inch benchmark I like to see for medium game hunting. And they were fairly consistent, 17 and a half to 21 and a half inches. What is that, a four inch spread? I've seen worse, I've seen better. It's a ballistic tip bullet. They did better than I expected. And on to kinetic energy with a 95 grain bullet going on average 2,943 feet per second. We're looking at 1,827 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 1,480 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. So it's packing plenty of punch for your white tailed deer, stuff like that. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts. If you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on this Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip 95 grain load out of the 243. Honestly, I'm surprised at how well it did. I'm very pleased with it. I would not hesitate to use it on deer, pronghorn, similar stuff like that. It had good weight retention for what it is, good expansion, good velocity out of a 20 inch barrel and pretty good penetration too. It kind of hit all the marks. If it shot well out of my rifle, I wouldn't hesitate to use it. And if you had a rifle with a longer barrel, ring out as much velocity as you can. It might be a good option for your longer range pronghorn and stuff too if you're hunting those with a 243. Nice streamlined bullet going fast. Help with that trajectory. If you or anyone you've know have used this on game, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.